Guys, let's find out if the mad cat rat with no tail is actually worth getting. <laughs> For clarity, this is the mad cat rat DWS. What is up guys? As you all know, it's your boy, the Revengers Hammer and let's get straight into it firstly let's go through the unboxing as you can see it is a bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz device meaning it's wireless it's quite premium boxing firstly you see the mouse itself which is quite fastened into the box plus the aa battery non-rechargeable you're also given a little brush and hexagonal key the given other sort of adjustable parts the one you're seeing first is for the wrist support and the one you're seeing next is for the pinky finger you're also gifted with a few stickers as well as some literature let's talk now about the look and feel of the device obviously it is a rat it's a mad cat's product exceptionally premium first point to note is that it's quite heavy it's 136 grams. I know gamers like it really light in order to get the most uh, movement for the least amount of effort. It's a little heavy. What I do like is the customizations. As you can see, I'll do a much closer view of this, but you can simply <laughs> pop that. Slide the wrist support for whatever is comfortable for you. Uh, it's obviously specifically meant for right-handed use no lefties when i say no tail that means it's wireless and that also unfortunately means that you cannot recharge the battery it only takes a aa battery mouse itself has 10 buttons in total two scroll wheels um next regarding the pricing amazon itself you are looking at around a hundred and thirty dollars some of the specs for you techies out there, 60 million clicks. You heard correctly, 60 million clicks. That should very well get you through at least 10 years of use. Assuming it's not excessively violent and it's standard use, um, it also is rated at a response time of less than 2 milliseconds. I mean, it's Bluetooth and 2.4 gigahertz, so not more than 10 meters. You should be looking at around 200 hours rated using the 2.4 gigahertz dongle and 300 hours rated using Bluetooth. Compatibility is quite contentious simply because currently on the Mad Cats website, there is only Windows 10. Why that's important is because you want to be able to program all of the buttons. All 10 of those buttons, you want to map them to do specific functions. On a Mac, as you can see, I have a Mac system here. There is no support yet. So I'm hoping Mad Cats will actually reach out and bring Mac support to the table. Okay, so as I've mentioned, latency, less than two milliseconds. Excellent. The adjustable size is what wins it for me. I myself do not like small mouses. I like them as big as possible, as wide as possible. I have quite big hands. I need it customized for me. It's not that heavy for me. For me personally, this is the right weight. I don't like it too light of a mouse. I need some weight just to wiggle it about and to throw it around the table. I like the size, I like the shape, I like the weight. Um, the one downside to this sort of mouse is that it does not have any form of RGB. So no red, green, blue LEDs, none of that. I'm assuming that Mad Cats did this to maximize the battery life. For gamers, it goes up to 16,000 DPI. Uh, for those of you who don't know, DPI means dots per inch. Or one inch, it moves 16,000 dots on your computer. With some ratio to that effect. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy holidays, and you will hear from me in 2023. Let's go out there and do it.